800, 912. That is just insane. Hey, hello there. This is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best video settings for Minecraft 1.20.2. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to click that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to what you're about to get, and what you're about to get is a whole lot of performance improvement. I'm going to show you how to get more FPS and reduce lag, but before we even do that, I'm going to show you how to install Sodium, which will kind of just do the work for you. The first step to getting more FPS in Minecraft and having an overall better experience is to install a mod called Sodium. By just having this mod installed, you will already get more FPS. So let's not waste any time, and once you've already installed 1.20.2, you can just go ahead and get started installing Sodium. If you've never played 1.20.2, then click play, wait for it to install, and then come back. So now just open up your browser or use link down below in the description to the Sodium mod for 1.20.2. Once you're on this page, just click download Sodium right here, which will take you to the latest download links. Click 1.20.2 right here, and then once you're over on this website, click download. So once you've got the mod, just put it on your desktop somewhere where you can easily access it later. Now what you want to do is scroll down a little further on this Sodium download page and click installation fabric mod loader. So as it says here first, you need to download fabric mod loader. There we go. If you're on Windows, you click this button right here. If you're on any other operating system, click download universal jar. I'm going to click Windows, click this program right here. See, it says Fabric Installer, Minecraft version 1.20.2. Then click Create Profile and click Install. If you still have the Minecraft launcher open, just close it. Click Yes. That's it. Now, all you want to do is go over to your Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, there it is, the Fabric Loader Profile. So what you want to do next is click Windows R. If you're not on Windows, this won't work. So you're going to have to Google how to get to your app data folder on your PC. If you're in Windows percent app data percent hit enter. This will give you all these folders. But all we need is this top one called dot Minecraft. If you've never installed mods before, there will not be a mods folder. So what you do in that case is right click over new click folder and name it mods all lowercase. Double click the mods folder and then drag in Sodium. There we go. We have now actually already installed Sodium. You can close this, see if you're still using the fabric loader right here and click play. You may get this warning because you've just modded Minecraft, but if you do understand the risks, you can tick this little box and click play. It doesn't really matter if you skip the Sodium installation using the timestamps because this setting will even work if you don't have any performance improving mods. What we're about to do is allocate some more RAM to Minecraft. Go over to installations and whether you're using the fabric loader or not doesn't really matter. For now, I'm going to do it for the latest release. Click the three little dots, click edit right here, scroll down to more options and then you will see JVM arguments. As you can see, it says 6G, XMX 6G here. That's because I have 32 gigs of RAM in my system, so I can allocate six to it. If you have something like 16 or eight, you could go up to 4G here. And if you have only four or even lower, don't go beyond one or two. Now click save. And if I click play on this profile right here, I will be playing Minecraft with a lot more RAM. Now it is time for the last and probably the most important step and that is optimizing all the video settings that Minecraft gives you. So here we are in Minecraft 1.20.2 with exactly 500, 300, 360 FPS. There we go. That's also because of the F3 menu right here. Of course, it slows down Minecraft, but that's just to give you a rough idea of how many FPS I'm able to get. Now, obviously, I have a pretty good computer, so that's a lot of FPS, but I'm going to show you that I can at least double that, if not triple or even quadruple that amount of FPS. So bear with me. Let's head over to the video settings. You can do so by going into the game menu, clicking options, and then video settings, and there we go. That's a lot of settings that we can change. So most of these are set to the maximum values right now, which are going to give us fewer FPS. Now you want more FPS, fewer lag spikes and all of that. So let's go over these settings one by one and starting with not this one. The first one is full screen resolution and you just want to set that to current because 
it's just gonna make full screen look like good full screen. If you mess with this, you're gonna get really poor quality full screen, which can be a last resort, but let's not do that right now. Biome blend, that is the first setting. That's going to make sure that biomes blend into each other very smoothly. I mean, look at this transition from a swamp to just a normal lake, river, or ocean, whatever that biome is right there. You can see how it transitions into the greenish color very smoothly. Now look at what happens when I set this to off, which is the fastest option, and Minecraft even tells you that. That is gonna look very ugly, not very natural, so I like to set it to something like fast, but if you want the maximum amount of FPS, set it to fast. Now graphics obviously is gonna do a lot too. That is pretty much the setting that is gonna depend whether you have transparent leaves and stuff like that. So if you want more FPS, set this to fast. What that's going to do is take out the transparency from blocks like leaves, like I said, but it's going to give you a lot more FPS. Chunk Builder, that is one that you should check to thread it. Smooth lighting doesn't really do a lot. You can just turn this off just to be sure, but it's not going to actually impact your performance. V-Sync is one that might work for people that have too many FPS or experience lag spikes, but not low FPS. So you can try and turn that on, but it doesn't always work. So just see for yourself whether that actually makes it better. The GUI skill is just up to you. Brightness also doesn't do much. I like to set this to the max setting just so you can see a lot in Minecraft. Full screen is a setting that can actually help for some people because it reduces input lag, but just see for yourself, it doesn't really do a lot for FPS usually. And then the mipmap levels, uh, you can set this to off and it's supposed to do something. It doesn't really do much for me. That's why I never really changed this setting, but you can definitely try it. Now for the effects here, that is very clear. Just like with any other game, you just disable the effects to get the most FPS. And so glint strength on the right side here, also just disable that autosave indicator. Well, that's just one of those things that you probably don't even notice. It just pops up once every, what, five to 10 minutes. You can turn that off if you don't even want to see that. Entity shadows is just like all the other effect settings. If you enable shadows, you're gonna have fewer FPS. Entity distance is the distance at which you can still see entities and they're rendered. Well, if you just reduce that to 50%, that's the lowest setting and that is going to give you the best performance. Particles you cannot disable, but you can set them to minimal. Clouds are currently set to fancy, which is gonna look something like that. And if you set them to fast, they're gonna be completely 2D. And if you set them to, well, off, there won't be any clouds. So it'll be always just sunny and clear in Minecraft. The attack indicator is just where you want it to display the attack indicator. You can disable this if you don't even want to see the attack indicator. Now, view bobbing is an interesting setting. If you disable it, you'll just walk in a straight line. The screen won't shake. It won't look like you're actually walking in Minecraft. That's what that setting does. For the max frame rate, I like to set it to unlimited and uh, just keep it at that. Okay, so now I've disabled VSync. And if you remember, uh, when I was just showing you the settings earlier uh, and the FPS that I got with those settings, I was getting about 200 something, 300 maybe. Well, I told you I could double them, right? So I think I've just done that. 680, 700 FPS. That is just insane. I promise you, we can get even more FPS. I can more than double my FPS. Let's go back into the settings because you may be wondering why I haven't touched these two right here, the render distance and the simulation distance. Well, there's a good reason for that because those settings are the most important settings in Minecraft. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but I definitely think they are. The render distance and the simulation distance both have to do with how much Minecraft renders in the distance. So how far it renders. As you can see, we can still see the other side of that river right there. The other side of this, well, lake, river, whatever it is, the swamp right there, the birch forest right there. We can even see some part of that mountain right there. So what I'm gonna do is go into options and reduce the simulation distance to five chunks, which is the, uh, the minimum value that you could set it to. And then render distance, I'm gonna decrease that to five for now. So you can see what that does. That greatly reduces our uh, view distance as well. But let me tell you that this is not even the most we can do. If we go into options and set render distance to two chunks, look at that. That is starting to get a little bit spooky, right? It's still playable. Like you could still, still see creepers coming up from a hill like right there or fend off zombies because you know, they'll, they're gonna have to get close to even hit you. I guess Minecraft is still playable this way. That's what I'm trying to say. So now, with all these settings set to these values, let's take a look at my FPS. Pay close attention to the very first second when I load this menu. 
it says I get 1177 FPS compared to about 250 to what, 320? before we did all this? I mean, if that's not a testimony to how good these settings are and how much, you know, you can do about your performance in Minecraft, then I don't know what is. These right here are the best settings that you can have in Minecraft. That's been it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. First, let me know down below in the comments how many FPS you have before watching this video and how many FPS you have now. Unfortunately, that is really all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one, and then I will, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!